pantry friendly Mother's Day dish. This is a egg and beef casserole. You're going to need some ground beef. I have some green onion that I want to use up. I'm going to be using about a cup, a cup and a half of tater tots, a half a cup of bell peppers, and we're going to be using six eggs and then black pepper and garlic. Grab my cutting board and we're going to cut up some of the green onion. And then we're going to throw in with the ground beef. I'm going to use green onion instead of regular onion. I love these types of onions. Or scallions. I don't know what the difference is. Go ahead and prep them. And once we cut these down, we're going to open up the ground beef and grind it up from a patty form onto the frying pan. I'm going to add a little bit of butter spray and salt to the frying pan first. I'm going to brown the beef. Let's get our burner nice and hot. Turn it to about eight. Always make sure that you turn on the correct burner. Your favorite butter spray a couple times around. And take your ground beef. Drop them onto the pan. Got my masher here. Go ahead and spray the masher. That way it doesn't stick. And we're going to break up the beef. Once the beef is broke up, I'm going to add in the green onion. And when the green onion and brown beef cook, we're going to transfer it to the Dutch oven where we're going to add six eggs and the cheese and tater tots. You don't have to add cheese, it is optional. This is a great meal for someone who likes a really hearty breakfast. Perfect for a brunch. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. I don't want it to cook too quickly. So reduce your heat to four. I'm going to drop in the green onion. Take your spoon and kind of swish it around. We're also going to add in the bell peppers because they're slightly frozen. I'm going to add in about a cup. I'm going to eyeball it in. Because they're bunched together, I hit it against the cabinet a little bit. 
break them up. I didn't add a lot of onion because this already has onion in it. And sometimes it has more onion than bell pepper. Go ahead and mix all that up. Gonna take your pepper and garlic. If yours are separate, it's three each. Mine is a combination. I'm going to add three teaspoons of the pepper and garlic supreme. I'm going to grab my cooking oil. We're going to add a couple of teaspoons. Drizzle in a couple of teaspoons of your extra virgin olive oil or your cooking oil. And continue to mix. This is almost brown enough. To transfer it into the Dutch oven. I'm going to grab my eggs and the tater tots and we're going to add them to the Dutch Let's oven. Grab my Dutch oven. Extra virgin olive oil once again to the bottom of the pan. Then you're going to take your black pepper and garlic once again and just a couple of teaspoons, nothing fancy. We're going to break in the eggs, six. And then we're going to turn your heat down further just above low. I'm going to mix up all the eggs. We're going to add the ground beef to the Dutch oven and layer it with black pepper. Then layer it with the tater tots and cheese. And just grab yourself a four. And whisk it up. Before we add the beef and the tater tots, I'm going to turn the heat back up to almost four. I'm going to let this solidify. Let's go ahead and add the ground beef to the egg mixture. It does say to add milk, but I have a lactose intolerant. I can have some dairy, not a whole lot, and milk is one of them I can't have. So I'm omitting the milk, and it'll come out just fine. I remember one of my aunts making this on her farm with breakfast sausage. And I found this on Pinterest with the ground beef. Dutch oven friendly. Let's go ahead and add in the potatoes. Perfect. Mix in the tater tots so they have time to cook with the beef, the green onion, and the egg. I'm 
I wonder if this is how Jimmy Dean makes his breakfast bowls to sell in the stores. I love them because they have the potatoes in them. Gonna mix well. Just gonna add a splash of milk. Not a whole lot. Grabbing my cheese. Don't worry about the bottom of the Dutch oven. It comes clean every single time. I'm gonna add a few slices of cheese. I have cheddar for this. Any kind of cheese. And they also recommend Colby Jack or Pepper Jack. Uh, three slices of cheese. I keep my cheese in wax paper because it makes it last a lot longer and stays fresher. Go ahead and start breaking up the cheese so it can melt. You can add as much cheese as you like. This would be great for camping. You can pre-make the mix and heat it up in your Dutch oven. I'm going to cover the Dutch oven for about five minutes and then we're going to chuck it. I went ahead and cleaned up some dishes while we waited for it to cook. Now I'm going to take a peek. This is done. It smells incredible. I'm going to put some on a plate. You can serve it with mimosa if you're doing a bunch. That would be perfect. A great Mother's Day dish. Now we're going to plate some. I'm going to transfer it to a bowl once we plate it, so I can soak the Dutch oven. Everything combined nicely. So the Dutch oven can get a good soaking and come clean once again. I put all of the ground beef breakfast casserole into the tin. It's going to easily serve a four with leftovers. This is what it looks like on the plate. Nice and hearty, big portions. Serve it with a mimosa, bagels, fruit. Really make a nice, inexpensive Mother's Day brunch. Here's what it looks like on a plate. Delicious with all the bell peppers and potatoes and egg and beef popping right out of it. Pantry friendly, Dollar Tree friendly. Now we're gonna give it a try. Go ahead and give this a try. Mm. 
This is really good. Two thumbs up. Don't forget when we get to 1,300, we're gonna issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. If you're new, comment in any of the comment sections down below. Let me know you're new and say hello. You must be a US resident and must be subscribed in order to qualify. If you come in all the time, you know the drill. You have to be a US resident and you have to be subscribed if you want in the past 60 days and you're not qualified, if you don't answer me within 48 hours, you'll be disqualified and another name will be chosen. And we're looking for 11 more people to give out one five items price pack from the Dollar Tree. There is a video directly below the paragraph that you read with a link that takes you to all the prizes. If anything's been spoken for, I will let you know and you can choose again. And I'll be doing an updated video on my prize vault. From items from the Dollar Tree soon, so keep an eye out for that and make sure you subscribe.